tonight. Terrific teams from the East. This game, Greg, has been circled on the calendar for a while. And Kevin, this is going to be a fantastic matchup. It could be a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. These teams are that good. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. And it's Lillard in at the point. Porzingis with the block. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Kristaps Porzingis with the rejection. And now the first time out call here for Boston. Alert against Howard. Pass to Porzingis. On the three off target. Pass to Beast. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And stolen by Tatum. Holiday against Lillard to the paint. The kick out to Tatum. The shot will not fall. Good D by Lopez. About one minute into the first quarter. No doubt Greg Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player. And this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Pass to Lillard, taken away by Holiday. Brown wide open, he fires, and he's good on the three ball. Jalen Brown gets his feet set in the catch and shoot and just drills it. Lopez a screen on Holiday. Lillard attacking and good that time. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag and, and where's the help defensively? To me that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Tatum following the score by Damian Lillard. Oh and the jam by Tatum. Jason Tatum, you've got to be kidding me. How pretty was that? Lillard surveying the D. With the drive, the wide open look here for Lopez. Good on the three point shot. You simply have to remember that Brooke Lopez can stroke the jumper. This guy on catch and shoot is terrific. Akailu passes to Tatum. And here's Porzingis. He's now one for two with that bucket. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Lopez sets a screen through Lillard. With some arc from outside the arc. He kicks to Antetokounmpo. Easily outside. Giannis, the feed to Beasley. Just four to shoot. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Beasley. The assertive mid-range jumper from Beasley right there. You want to take away the three of the drive, I'll step into that sweet spot. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. Yeah, and they nailed the home those ball. picks, getting Jalen Brown and ball. Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Jason Tatum continues to emerge, guys, as one of the most elite players on both ends. We know on the offensive end, he's a dangerous three level scorer. He's also capable of locking you up defensively. Now, here's Lillard. Porzingis with the block. Tatum down low, covered by Yannis. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Alert against Holiday. 
Lillard attacking. Here's Lopez. Dishes it to Beasley. Holiday against Lillard. Wide open. Rebound Boston. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Tatum setting the pick for Brown. The pass to Tatum. Brown against Middleton. Brown down low. Great D that time for Middleton. For Milwaukee, they've gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Down low. Adekumbo gets to Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. And how smooth is that jumper? Middleton making it look easy from the corner. Here's Brown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Middleton. First, no question, he got bumped on that shot. Austin shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. You have to admire the growth of Jalen Brown. He comes in as an attacking athlete. He's now a better passer, and he absolutely is a knockdown three-point shooter. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. <laughs> a while back in fourth start, that's for sure. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Milwaukee on top. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard into the one spot. A nice shot by McCarthy. And an important part of every team to get from a look at the hustle stats for the Celtics. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. I think the other thing they're doing is they're wearing out the opponent in transition, exploding up the floor for easy chances. And so it's Milwaukee now. Following the three-pointer by Boston. And break the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. Yeah, you gotta pay to play. Or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. Giannis sets a screen for Beasley. The kick out to Hunter Kumbo. Lillard outside. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Celtics leading by four. Passes to Persingas. And Holiday from deep. Hunter Kumbo pulls it in. Hunter Kumbo's got six rebounds here tonight. Back to Middleton. Dishes it to Hunter Tacumbo. Lillard outside. Lopez a screen on Hubbard. Here's Lillard. And easy two points on the way. Lillard's got six. And that's just not enough to affect Lillard. His focus, unreal. Singus passes to McKayla. Puts up a deep three. Brown outside. It's good from long range. Brown's got the lead up to five now for Boston. That three-point shooting sets up every aspect of Jalen Brown's game. What a pretty shot. Lopez, a screen on Hubbard. Lillard from outside. And it's Lillard again missing. And even without that three-ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Count it. 
And now a seven point Celtic lead. What would you pick right now, Doris, is one of the things that impresses you most about playing the NBA? Oh boy, Kev, there's, there's a couple of things that really stand out. Number one, the ball skills that players have and the ability to shoot the ball with range off the bounce. Those are game-changing aspects of today's NBA. Portis is checked in for Andrzejkumbo. Lillard outside. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Portis with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Beasley finds Lillard. Shoots from the line. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Celtic ball. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. Three. And so it's going to be a three second violation out there on the defense. For Boston, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. And so he hits the technical free throw. Here's Brown. Going inside. Oh. Oh. This guy, one of the most elite athletes in the game, Jalen Brown, finishes beautifully. Portis sets the pick for Lillard. Back to Portis. He stopped the run. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. Brown with a screen on Lillard. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Lillard. Six points for him. And Lillard throws it down. Almost unstoppable on the drive. Lillard's talent for ball handling, letting him just cut through the defense. Here's Holiday, leading by five. Brown dishes to Tatum. Kick out to Brown. Holiday with it. Picked up by Portis. Clock is at three. Here's Tatum. They grab their own miss. Brown outside. Off target with his three. Easily outside. And it's good assisting on the play was Miller. The assist. Now, just a three-point Celtic lead. Now, you love to see a guard like Malik Beasley take it down low and be willing to compete and make a shot. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Jalen Brown, what a contribution. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Entertainment. Bucks trail by three. We've got White. And it's Hauser in at the three, the small forward. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. Now, here is Gallinari. Here he goes. And the wide open shot from Crowder. And he hits it to tie the game up. To me, you've got to run this guy off his shots. Jay Crowder is a good catch and shoot jump shooter. To the inside. Murphy kicks to Cornette. is hammered home. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now here's Beverly. Pass to Giannis. Screen by Giannis. Outer dishes to Antetokounmpo. 
Horford with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Cornette. Outside, Horford. Here's Hauser. Pass to Pritchard. Picked by Horford. Just five on the clock. They shoot again. And a dunk by Horford. Well, Al Horford does not mind sending a message now and then. How about that easy flush? Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Colinari passes to Beverly. Crowder from outside. And Boston with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. On the pass to Pritchard. Picked by Horford. And he drives in. Pritchard gets the bucket. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Here's Beverly. Nothing on the board. Alinari outside. It's tipped. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back, but I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest, I may show everything. Kevin? Yeah, you know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. Now, here's going up. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Everly with the ball. And it's Horford picking him up. Atatakubo can't get it to go. Celtics leading by eight. Intercepted. Two minutes remaining in the third. Fast break, Two Milwaukee. Minutes. Here's Crowder. He drains the quick shot. Crowder. Crowder's got five. Well, Gallinari a score at heart, but how about the unselfishness? Perfectly sets up his open teammate. Here's White, and White slams it in. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Here's Pritchard, defended by Beverly. To the left wing. Horford with a screen on Beverly. Back to Horford. To the middle, here's Cornette, and that one is stuffed right through. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And the Bucks with possession here, after the basket by Boston. Molinari finds Beverly, just five to shoot. Passes it to Crowder. One by Beverly. Back to Crowder. On the wing, Giannis. There's Giannis with the slam. Giannis will take on any defender. Nice finish that time. The shot and game clock separated by four. Cornette kicks to Horford. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Cornette. Gallinari covering. And he gets it to go. Cornette's got the lead up to 10 now for the Celtics. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. And if it goes... And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit. will make it tough to come back. Celtic. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Beasley on the wing, along with Middleton. Brooke Lopez is out there with Portis, and it's Lillard in at the one. The dish to Beasley. Middleton on the wing. Clock at four. 
Lopez outside from past the arc. And they get it back. With one on the clock. Good call, but he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. First That one is on holiday. You have to wrap Brooke Lopez up, right? Because this guy's so adept at using those long arms to get his shot off. Out to Porzingis. A three. The rebound by Middleton. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. Eight point game. Beasley finds Portis. Alert against Holiday. The kick out to Lopez. And that's out of, out of bounds. bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Middleton, the pass to Beasley. Lopez a screen. Beasley with it. Now guarded by Pershing. It's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Tatum with it. Pass to Persingis. Holiday against Lillard. The pass to Tatum. Launches a three. And another miss by Boston. Bucks trail by eight. Middleton is doubled. He dishes it to Lopez. Back to Middleton. Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. Shot clock at six. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And Damian Lillard with the chain. Oh, the patience, the composure. Lillard letting his shot come to him under pressure. Holiday, the basketball. And Brown throws it down hard. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. And Lillard kicks to Portis. Off target from outside. Celtics leading by eight. Here's Tatum, and he slams it down right on top of Bobby Portis. Well, do not let Jason Tatum get space in transition. He will make you pay. Lopez outside. Portis finds Lopez. Lopez sets a screen for Beasley. The kick out to Lopez. Back to Beasley. Passes to Lopez. Zingas with the steal, and now it's Brown running. He can go all the way. Tatum wide open. He fires one. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Boston. All game long, they've had active hands and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steals. And another theme of this game to me, guys, has been how lethal they've been in transition. Attack on the break and make sure you convert. And, you know, such a fierce competitor. Lillard can score from anywhere on the court. And there's no one you'd rather give the ball to with the game on the line. The wide open look here for Persingas. Misses the three. Bucks trail by 11. Lillard, the pass to Lopez. Kicks it out to Lillard. For three, Portis. And the Bucks miss again. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. And he commits the intentional foul. Personal foul. First team foul. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. Second first, first one falls for. Second team foul. At the line for two. No good on the second free throw. Milwaukee's gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good. At the line. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Bucks trail by 14. Lopez, a screen on Hubbard. The kick out to Lopez. He's looking for Lillard and finds him. Puts up a deep three. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touching last. 
And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Celtics. A few times this season, turnovers have cost them, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Przingis. And you have to love the effort he put forth on the glass. He played with a fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. Port is for three. And the Bucks miss again. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. Here's Mikhailu. The shot's good. Brown making the play. They made the most of their opportunities looking uncomfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Brown dishes to Holiday. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.